All right, y'all, just made it to the farm pond. The farmer owns right up the road. Rode the quad over, the quad's right over there. And uh, haven't fished here in forever, so we'll see uh, if there's anything still in here. If it's all been fished out, I know a couple years back, a lot of people fished it. But we're gonna throw around a whole bunch of baits. Just gonna stick to the spinner bait I already have on the rod. Throw it around, might throw some Texas rigs and uh, see if we can catch one or two, hopefully. And uh, see what happens. So all I can hope is to catch one. There's one. Keep them on. There's one. You engulfed it. You wanted that, buddy. It's a big bait. Look at that comparison. Almost half his size. Hey, first one, a couple casts in. I can't complain about that. Just cast this cover right over here. And uh, just off the side of it. And he bit. Nothing huge, but hey, that means there's, they're still reproducing here. That's all that matters. See, bub. Leave that four-wheeler alone. Leave it alone. Probably just being curious, but leave it alone. All right. Well, from the past experience of fishing here, they like the uh, Texas rig. So I'm going to switch that up real quick. We're going to walk around. We're right over there around the bend where I used to catch a lot of them. And like I said, it's been a year, so we should see what's going to happen here. No promises, but we'll just switch this up real quick and get right back to you guys with a Texas rig. All right, so if I remember correctly, I like the uh, I think it's Pumpkin Green by Guggen Squad, Crack and Crawl, if I remember correctly. I'm just going to sneak over here where they were biting on this bait the most last year. I'm not saying it's gonna work, but I eventually want to fish the whole pond anyway, so sneak right over here and give her a whirl. A lot of trees fell since I've been here last too. Cows beat down a path for me. Also not bringing out the big camera too much today, guys. Took the GoPro for now. There's a big one right there on a the bed. Right there on a the bed. Yeah, it was just a big bass right there. I don't know where it went. I think it's on a bed. A little cast back to her. Let her settle down. It's pretty big. I don't want to go spooking anything too much. There's another one. That one wanted it. Right there. That one went right for it. Come on up here. Come here. That one went right for it. Flew towards it. Easy, Bubba. Not bad. As soon as I think hit the water, he flew right towards it. Not bad. Get him back. Try not to spook the area. Well, the cows might potentially be destroying the four-wheeler. I don't know if you guys can see them. They're all surrounding it. Get out of there. But there's a fish over here to be caught. So I'm going to try to throw it into that one that's over here on the bed. I think she's on the bed. That one's still over here on the bed. I'm gonna try getting it. No, it's, it wasn't a fish on the bed. It might have been the one I caught, honestly. Oh, I'm gonna f someone and he f cows. Oh, these motherfuckers. 
true. Get away from it. Oh, there's one. There's a bass. Oh, it's falling it. There we go. Chasing some sunnies. Right on one. There's one bass. Just popped off. That's right. I don't want that small one. I want that big one. Decent size. There we go. Keeps going in after, but it won't, won't commit. Where is he? Fairly big bass, too. There he is, he's got it. Get over here. Easy, baby. Easy. Easy. It's the best bass all year. Watch them eat it right there, too. Easy, bub. <laughs> what do you talk about that, huh? Not a bad one at all, y'all. Not a bad one at all. He's swimming around here forever out in front of me. Finally got him, I saw him chase up to it and get it. Sweet. Can't complain about that, y'all. Healthy, healthy bass. All right, get him back here. Back to the depths. That was the best one of the season so far for me. Three fish, I'm gonna walk the edge around here, all the way to the back one more time. Just find these big ones. I don't know if they're really guarding the bed or anything, but just find some big ones on the edge here. Throwing in, they're hungry. Real hungry. So that's what we'll do. Continue trekking. Could stay here and cast, but I think it's almost a waste of time. That was a big fish. It's probably a good two pounder. Maybe two and a half, three. Cow head? Maybe one of their cows died? I'm not too sure. Cows are way over there now, thankfully. They were destroying the hell out of my floor over there. Let's see how much damage they did. I think they were just rocking it. I don't know. Like they wanted to rub their head on it, that's all. There's another bass right there. We'll sneak in and catch that one. Just gotta crawl under here now. Might be on a bed. Cause she is scaring some bluegills off like crazy. Might disappear for a second, y'all. Oh, right into prickers. <laughs> oh, I gotta love it. KJC does pick the great spots. Do a limbo. As long as you don't see me when I stand up. It'll be alright. Let's get the Texas rigged all rigged up. Hopefully she's hot. Question is, she's still there. Two of them. See how fast this works. Oh, she's gonna hit it. 
Got her. Strong one, too. Get out of those weeds. Get out of those weeds. Come on up here. Another healthy, healthy bass, y'all. Another healthy one. Long. Not really fat, but long fish. There's another one right there with her. Long fish. You guys can see that. He's going back to the bed. So if I can get her in here, kind of go away. Go ahead, Mama. She's heading away. If I can rig this up real quick, throw it in there. That's like maybe even a bigger one. She doesn't come back yet. Where'd he go? Trying to get it right in front of his face. Give him no reason not to bite it. Unless that was the male. That might have been the male. I just caught. There he is. A whole bunch of fish over there. Yep. Instantly. As soon as it hit. That ain't the big one though. That ain't the one I was after. There's a school about four or five of them there. That might have messed up the school though. That's what happens when you get a whole bunch of little ones fighting with the big ones. You know? Oh, there's a big one right there, right there, right there. Sit there for a second, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. Oh. The big one, I'm pretty sure just took all my pinchers. So might not bite now. I gotta get this little one back. See, he's kind of stuck right there. I don't know, he just helped himself. I don't know. It could have been my little one, I just grabbed it. Let me get a new, uh, new crack and crawl real quick. Just crushed it, didn't it? No. God, I thought it crushed it. Another decent sized one over here. I'm not saying it's giant. We're all just trying to catch fish right now. A bunch of smaller ones over here. Well, it's good to see the bluegills have their little babies. That's feeding the bass. All right, we'll cast some long ones right here. Go back, try to catch that big one. We'll see how we make out. Oh, old well, Sonny just hit it. I think Sonny's are just trying to rip it off the hook. But I'm really intrigued about this fish over here, so. I'll head back this way. Unless it's the first one I caught, that was the best one of the season. Then he probably won't bite again, but it doesn't seem like that's the one. I don't even know if these ones are on beds, to be honest with you. They might not be, but for them to stay in this one area, I pulled two fish out of here. You would have to think they'd have to be on beds. Because usually if you spook them, they're gone. If they have their bed here, then of course they're going to stay. Try a few more casts. You win some, you lose some. Oh yeah, the big one's gonna hammer it. Oh, so close, y'all. He just followed that thing all the way in. That might even be bigger than the last one. Oh, he just swirled on it. You have any pressure on this? And spook just swirled on it. And that's what I have to do. Cast long, cast long, bring it in fast till you think he's right about where he is, start slowing it down. Right on his butt back again, a little couple of twitches, see if he sucks right off the bottom. 
back away from it. God damn. Finicky fish. Finicky. That's a big fish, though. I don't, really big fish. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. All right, we're gonna go back out deep with it. Bring it in. He's, he's trailed it a couple times now. Maybe he just doesn't like that close to the bank, so. There we go. Got him that time. Got him that time. Get up here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get out of that weed. Get out of that stick. Get out of that stick. Get out of that stick. That's a nice fish. Whew. That's a nice fish. Look at that, y'all. That is a nice fish. Donkey. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. Look at it. Told you guys it was a nice one. Holy crap, look at that fish. Probably solid, close to four pound, guys. I'd say, maybe I'm wrong, comment down below. I don't have my scale with me like an idiot, but. Whoo! Followed it in so many times, wouldn't commit. Hooked him right in that nice, tough spot. Holy yeah, baby. Whew, sorry for the emotion right now. That's real emotion right there, y'all. Hell yeah. Raw emotion. Don't get better than that, y'all. There we are, guys. I said, I don't know, it took so long on that fish. Kind of scared me when he got into this other stuff, but healthy, healthy bass, chunky. Get back in there, baby. Go to the depths. Need some help? Kind of up under that log. Here, let me pick up that log for you. All right, back to the depths. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, y'all. I know I'm upside down right now. Sweat my balls off. Hell yeah. So it's about right there. Fish down this edge right here, fish down it. And then I came back and uh, started going after this one again. Didn't give up on the fish, gave it a little bit of time. Fished the edge, didn't catch anything, came back. So I'm gonna try it one more time before I leave. It was falling in every time, committing to it, committing to it. And finally I threw it out there, committed. I see my line start swimming sideways. I'm like, it's gotta be that big one. Huge hook set on it. We got it. Two of the biggest ones of the season. Healthy fish too, those ones are. Some of them in here are a little long, pretty skinny. Two, two healthy, healthy bass. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Don't ever give up on a fish like that. That was incredible, y'all, incredible. Stay at it though. Like I said, if you gotta give them time, give them time. Even if you're in a boat, leave the spot, mark it down your map, whatever, mark it on your phone, come back, and the fish might wanna bite then. Well, hopefully we can make it out of here. We got on the road, we're gonna have to definitely uh, give her some balls and go down the road there pretty fast because all the mud out. As long as we don't get stuck. Almost got stuck on the way in, just gonna have to go through it pretty fast. But I don't know, y'all. That's pretty sick. Crazy, crazy experience out here on the swamp pond or the farm pond, whatever you guys wanna call it. It's basically a swamp hole that's got some nice fish in it. Finally, again this year, like I said last year, was touch and go, touch and go. We caught some fish here. Not a crazy amount, we caught some fish. And uh, the year before, I was catching nice, nice ones out of here. And then finally now, this year, we're back to catching some nice ones out of here. Uh, I don't know, I wish I had my scale on me. I think it's dead at the house, stupid, stupid me. But well, comment down below what you guys think that size was. I think maybe, you know, it was well over three pounds, might be pushing four. You guys comment down below how big you thought that bass was. Caught some small ones, caught some really good ones. Overall, the best fishing day for me this year. So pumped you guys got to see it and hang out with me. It was all on the GoPro, unfortunately, but as you guys can see, we were navigating through and under this barbed wire fish, fence here and everything. Didn't really want to pull out the big camera, risk getting it destroyed. With that all being said, y'all, we're going to send it on back out to the house here, ride it forward down the road. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys comment down below how big you guys think that fish was. Also, comment down below what's your biggest fish this year. Be sure to subscribe, leave a like. I love you guys. Have a blessed night. Thank you.